We are Allison and James, and for the past 12 months, we've been living full time in this vintage 1968 Airstream that we converted ourselves. It's been a huge undertaking, but we're pretty happy with what we've been able to accomplish so far. One of the last big tiny home projects is to finish building our wet bath so that we have the option to shower indoors. We want this tiny room to feel modern, spacious, and elegant, but most importantly, it needs to be completely waterproof. We are building our wet bath using fiberglass, which means working with a material we've never used before. Insert all the challenges here. Join us this week as we work to complete our dreamy indoor-outdoor shower and wet bath. So this fiberglassing project has been dragging on for a few days now. Essentially you do a thing and then you have to wait 24 hours before you can do the next thing. So it's a little bit of a slow painstaking process. We're familiar with this because when we went through the entire Airstream build it was the same way. Basically we started a project and then we wouldn't be able to finish it until days later. So much the same. We've gone through the steps of fiberglassing on the walls here and we've got them installed finally, which feels so good. The next step in this project is to repeat the process all over again on the bench here as well as the shower pan. This is essentially what tiny living is like at, well let's face it, even when you're not doing projects it looks like this, doesn't it? There's dishes, there's clean dishes, there's my tools. <laughs> drone batteries, all the toiletries, plenty of clothes. This is more or less our life every single day. <laughs> the toilet. The toilet. Front and center. I know. Apparently peeing in front of your partner is the <laughs> hardest part of tiny home living, but not for us. <laughs> we just got to cut the glass for the shower pan. We're going to do it right here because it's where we're working today. There's the toothpaste. We'll be looking for that later. The nice photos you see of this place on Instagram and in our stories is basically right after we clean. Every single time. Every time it's clean, I'm like, oh, I just want to take a picture and remember this. Well, this looks like it's going to be messy. This is a different fiberglass than what we've been working with for the walls. This stuff is off fabric glass, and this is what they call chop strand mat. And it's kind of just a big mess of fibers. It has really good strength though, because they're kind of everywhere. It reinforces the fiberglass in all different directions, but it's probably going to make a real bloody mess when I start chopping it up. Maybe we should lay the clean stuff first, prep the area, and that way we can then just cut the pieces we need and install them and not have them sitting around creating more mess. Sounds good. I also think you just invented a new favorite dance. In there. I like your plan. Let's lay this linear stuff and then we can get into this messy ball of mess. Oh. These are my pants. Love how my workout pants become your project pants. They're also my work pants because I wear them to work. My actual job. <laughs> so they're no longer my pants is what I'm hearing. Basically. They're my pants. I'm gonna go mix up some epoxy and let's get cracking. Really doesn't go very far, does it? Which is like a real shame because it's so bloody expensive. If it was cheaper, everybody would still make things out of it and that's not good for the environment. But being so expensive, I want to make things out of it because I love expensive things, but I can't afford it. <laughs> so I'm really caught between a rock and a hard place. I'll go mix more epoxy. You might want to get the door because my hands are covered in epoxy. <laughs> this has to be mixed at a precise ratio of five to one. So obviously being a nurse, I use syringes.
so, it operates so swiftly when it's hardening. Yes, you do. a stressful 10 minutes yeah I think it's just stressful because I don't know what I'm doing we've been here before like if I was experienced with how epoxy works and how to mix it and how to best position the glass and get it all put together then this really wouldn't be stressful at all but I am not with everything that we're choosing to do. It's generally something uncomfortable, challenging, something we've never done before. And we're like, let's do it and film it. Yep. We can start filming things that we're good at. Not get into cake decorating or something. <laughs> Despite the challenges of first-time fiberglassing, we're pretty impressed with how well it's all turning out so far. The shower pan looks great for this stage in the process, and it's exciting to see it finally start to transform into a functional space. We're pretty stoked to see it all come together. We have to leave the fiberglass and epoxy to cure for 24 hours before we can move on to the next step, applying fairing compound. starting to come together in here. Sure is. How many days have we been at this now? It's been like a week. That's what was it, last Wednesday we were sanding these outside. I did the pairing compound on the walls. It's a long process. But we're nearly there. Once this is all done, it's just a quick sand, which will take several days, and then a quick paint, which will take another couple of days. Mm -hmm. And then we should be there.
cram all the stuff into this tiny space. We sure do. Remember when we used to have like five guitars back here? The next phase of this shower project is basically to sand all of the fairing compound off the walls so that we can paint and be done with this thing. But the sanding process is obviously going to make one heck of a mess. There's going to be fiberglass particles everywhere, so we can't actually have anything in the trailer when we're doing that. So we have to take everything out in order to finish this project. The challenge has been that it hasn't stopped raining. Today, we finally have a break in the rain. We've got 24 hours to get everything out of here, get it sanded, painted, and move all of our stuff back in. So let's go. At least it gives us an opportunity to give everything a really good clean. Yeah? Some spring cleaning? Spring cleaning. Let's bring on the spring. <laughs> it's felt like winter for weeks. Clearly needs to be cleaned back here anyway, so. Sure does. It kind of feels nice to be spring cleaning. It's like the echo has come back to the trailer. <laughs> yeah, we haven't heard this echo <laughs> in a year. Man, it feels so much bigger when our stuff's in here and it's like usable space. <laughs> when it's like just pulled apart like this, you're like, wow, it's like, like smaller than you can reach. It's crazy. These slots we made are super handy. Yeah. It was very Ikea of us. I know. Thank you, Ikea, for the brilliant design idea. <laughs> Is it raining now? Yeah. <laughs> Great. So much for uh, perfect weather, but whatever. There we go. So all of our stuff outside. Well, obviously we own more than that. It's also all in the truck, the car, and uh, the shed. Are we ready to start sanding? Shortly. I think we just need to get some tape and tape all the cupboards up. And... So these fiberglass particles are going to get into everything. So we're just quickly taping the cupboards and stuff just to save us from a lot of cleaning once this is all done. Yeah. Fiberglass particles have a habit of just infiltrating things that you didn't know would exist. And I guarantee that we'll still be finding it in like a year's time. Just about ready. Yep. Let's open her up and I'll uh, start sanding. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm stoked. I got my safety goggles, <laughs> my earmuffs, and respirator. So I am set to go. You oh, know the people are going to give you a hard time. But I, have a full, I have a full set of PPE. Well, this is going to look completely different the next time you see it. I'm so looking forward to this project being done. It is the last big thing in here and oh, it's just gonna feel so good when oh, it's done. It's gonna feel amazing. This is like the last bit of unfinished walls and stuff and it's just gonna end up making the space actually feel completed. We're stoked. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to it. Get right. into your sanding. I will bugger off for a few hours and work on our channel and I'll see you back in a little bit. All right, I'll show you when it's done. Hey. 
pretty dusty. Yeah. But, check it out. Nice. Yeah. It's all smooth now. It's pretty dusty in here though. Well, that's why we moved everything out. Yep. It's time to sweep her out and get it all cleaned up, eh? Well, we have a pretty big mess to clean up, so I think we'll leave you here for today. Tune in next week to see it all come together. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one and subscribe if you're new here. Love you all and we'll see you Wednesday.